All right, the Giants clearly unveiled a few new wrinkles to an offense that had become a little bit too predictable, but they still haven't fixed their running game. It's something I discussed with columnist Tara Sullivan of The Record and Pat Leonard of the New York Daily News. Well, post bye week is always about self-evaluation. Did you see that the Giants made any adjustments to the offense, the defense, what we're seeing out there on the field? Well, I do think you saw a concerted effort to involve more playmakers in the offense. The Giants had gotten so predictable with the three wide receivers set with their three best players, you know, Beckham, Shepard, and Cruz, that I think they clearly tried to mix that up, and that worked a little today. Yeah, I agree. I think uh, it was amazing on both sides of the ball how much different personnel you saw. Rookie B.J. Goodson at linebacker, Perkins at running back, Roger Lewis Jr. Victor Cruz's snaps even before his injury were dropped. Uh, looked like he was kind of being phased out of the offense a little bit there. Now he's injured. Uh, but it felt like Ben McAdoo and the Giants are really trying to get a feel not only for incorporating other talents, but kind of what they have on their roster, um, you know, for both a short-term and long-term feel. That's how it felt to me. Well, I was going to say, that's really the big question here because you know that you have the most of your talent is going to be at the receiving side of things right. and they've thrown the ball 65 percent of the time you want them to run the ball you want to see a balanced rushing attack but if you don't have the talent there can you win games and can you win games in the playoffs if you don't have a rushing attack well that's an that's a hard question to answer because there's not a great history of it but right. i think in the giants case i don't know where the flexibility is there the offensive line has had different injury problems and obviously execution problems justin Pugh added to that injury list today so they're going to turn to that short passing game to try to establish, you know, kind of a, a faux running game, if you will. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think they can. The pass game is hugely explosive when it's gone because even Cruz, who maybe reduced snaps, but he sure made the most of what he had prior to the injury and even with reduced numbers. His catch, his long catch close to the end zone was beautiful today, I thought. So um, that's what the Giants have. Yeah, it's all well and good when the sun is shining. But when the snow comes out and you need to run the ball, you've got to be a little bit more conservative yeah. with it. This Could this end up being a bugaboo for them late in the season? Yeah, no, I don't think they can win running like this. Like, if you're talking about going into the playoffs or whatever, I like that McAdoo, they show concerted effort. Like, they're using six offensive linemen, throwing Marshall Newhouse out there, really trying to get it going. The only thing is, it's so confusing. Paul Perkins is working down the stretch, and then on third and four, they throw. Manning, the pass gets tipped. It gets intercepted. It's almost like if it's working and your, your job is to run the clock out at the end, you got to stick with it. You got to trust it. Uh, that was discouraging to me, uh, but I like that the effort to establish it is there and not abandon it maybe as quickly as they had yeah. earlier in the season. Perkins was was definitely an eye opener today. I mean, yeah. not that he hasn't had flashes before, but yeah. but he showed enough today that I think that's something they have to return to and give him more chances to establish a run. Should be fun to watch the rest of the season. Indeed. Tara Sullivan, Pat Leonard, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it.